Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are checking out a very spooky title called Splatterhouse. Here's the awesome intro as we watch a, what I can only assume is a haunted mansion. I mean, it kind of looked like a library. It was kind of boring. <laughs> I like how the girl just fell there for no reason. Um, her and this dude are running into this library. Does not sound like it went well for them, but... I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Uh, I was going to say, why does it say game over? Like, going in the house and we're dead? So this is Splatterhouse. This is the computer showing us how it's done. Um, oh, God. Look at look at all the, like, gore. I mean, you know what? I mean, Happy Halloween, guys. The whole reason I decided to do this game is because it's freaking Halloween. You got to do something ghoulish and monstery. And, hey, what better horror game than Splatterhouse? I mean, I guess you could say maybe uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. That would have been a great game to play in Halloween, but I had already played that. So, okay, let's start with Adult. No, you know what? Here, we're going to do this. I, I always end up inserting a whole bunch of quarters. Oh, I can only insert nine. Okay, we're going to start with, this is $2.25 worth of quarters. We're going to give this puppy a go and see how far we can get. Okay, so here is the plot of this. You are a character named Rick. In that opening montage, Rick and Jennifer were two students running to a, a haunted mansion to get out of a storm or something, I guess. The mansion was owned by this guy named Dr. West. Um, Rick wakes up in this dungeon with a super power mask on, and he must fight his way through the splatterhouse, through whatever the hell these things are. There's people in, in uh, caves and stuff behind him begging for help, but he ain't going to help nobody because Rick ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, okay, here's the real story of Splatterhouse. You're Jason Voorhees. You are literally... I mean, like, look at this. Would anyone doubt that this is Jason Voorhees? I am perplexed that Namco got away with this. Um, I'm, I, I'm not sad. I don't, I don't wish they hadn't gotten away with this. Oh, there's another poor woman there. I mean, I only care about Jennifer, apparently. Because, like, look at this lady. She, she, she needs my help, too. But, like, to hell with you... The hell with you, lady. Um, this is also a really weird dungeon because it kind of looks alive. Okay. Let's go here. These, these spikes coming out of the ground are really... Oh, crap, my style. Oh, I love that. You hit these guys and they go into the wall and explode. Oh, man. Like, I don't, need, I don't just kill these guys. Oh, man. I literally, like, decimate them. Oh, but they got me, I guess. Oh, am I just dead? So this is a very interesting thing that I read about this game. You can't just beat it by uh, spamming quarters. Um, there's a term for that. Uh, credit feeding, I think it's called. So basically, in other games, like uh, other arcade games, if I'm not doing so hot, I just insert more quarters and continue right from where I left off. Um, they caught on to that by the time Splatterhouse was a thing, and they said, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't just pay to win. Maybe you should have to have some skill. So they did insert checkpoints, but Splatterhouse is set up in such a way that ooh, the kind of brains attack me. Yeah, and there's this like wall of mist and lightning attack me, slowly creeping up on me. If I stood too long at the intro there, it would have uh, come for me. Anyway, they caught on to this whole credit feeding thing. Man, what the hell are these things? They're like disgusting worms. And uh, so we, we encountered the, these like anti-credit feeding techniques in uh, NARC, right? When, sorry, I'm hearing like a weird noise. Okay, anyway, when I was playing NARC, when I got to the final boss, I couldn't just keep inserting credits and win. I had to actually fight the damn guy. And that was when I quickly realized that I wasn't going to win. Um, and so this the same thing is happening here. Which, you know, I don't begrudge the game designers for doing this. I mean, consoles do this. When you... Get off me. Oh, God. I mean, when you die in a, in a console game, you go back to a checkpoint. You can't just insert more credits until you're at the point you want to be. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm A's at hat. Yes. 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 Jesus. Oh man, okay. 
I'm really gonna have to like actually try in this game, otherwise we're never gonna see past level one. But yeah, is there any doubt that this is totally Jason Voorhees on a rampage? Hey you, buddy, get out of here. I feel like these guys look like aliens or something. Oh god. That guy pukes and then he dies. He's like, I've had enough of life, just one good puke and then I'm done. What a way to go. I would not want to go puking. And okay, these things, they grab my style. Doing a little dance here, there we go. I would like to save this girl if I could. Also, look at this guy writhing in pain right here. Oh, now he's dead. Like, I just feel nothing for him. I think the other thing that's... Oh, Jesus. We're in trouble, guys. Oh, no! Damn it. Okay, so this is one of the few games that I remember existing on the TurboGrafx-16. I'm not playing it on a TurboGrafx-16 because apparently it's a little censored. And, you know, I, I don't like the censored versions. I want to get the full experience. So, for a lot of these old games, I've been trying them on the arcades. But, uh, yeah, so I remember on the TurboGrafx-16, they had Bonk's Adventure, and they had this. Um, and these, those are, like, literally the only two games I ever remember being on the TurboGrafx-16. But I tried this once, and I thought, man, I like the TurboGrafx-16. You know, this game was enough to do it for me. There we go. Okay, so we've made it here. Can we survive against these stinking worms? Whatever the hell they are. I mean, if this is the first level and I'm having trouble, I don't have faith that I'm going to get too far. Oh, God. Once they attach to you, it's, like, really hard to get them off. Okay. Wake up, passed out on the floor, and I think, yeah, I'll give that one more try. Your living room here, fella, has some kind of infestation problem. And I am helping you out, reluctantly. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What's going to happen? What if I can't beat this? Game over. Are you serious? Continue. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, I'm going to give this one more try. And if I can't get through it, I'm going to stop. I'll have to stop commenting for a bit and, like, really concentrate, get through it, and then, you know, edit the video or something. Because this is ridiculous. Look at this guy, like, right in front of me. He's, like, looking at me. He's like, oh, my God, you're a worse monster than them. Please don't kill me. Give me your one last puke and then die a good death, sir. So, Halloween, guys. What are you doing to celebrate Halloween? I hope you're doing something totally awesome. I hope you're not going trick-or-treating unless you are a child. You know, I mean... Or unless you're taking... You can totally see his buttocks. Look, when he, when he swings that thing, you get a nice look at his butt. Just look at his butt for a while. It's mesmerizing. Uh, you know, they say my guy was just a normal student. But, like, look at what he was wearing. And we saw from the cutscene that he showed up in the mansion wearing this. He had no shoes. He's got some kind of, like, killer's stuff on. You know, like... Like, only killers dress the way this guy is. Killers and, like, very poor mechanics. So, I don't know. I do not buy that this guy was just, oh, an innocent little student. It's like, yeah, this is totally Jason Voorhees. And he's been working the glutes, I'll tell ya. Okay, here we go. We got this. These are, like, face huggers. Anyway, what are you guys doing to celebrate Halloween? Are you looking forward to the trick-or-treaters coming to your house? Freaking go away! Oh no! Don't you dare! Oh, you kidding me? How many do you have to beat? You know, I wonder if you're just supposed to like walk out of that room and I'm being real stupid. I'm sure you probably have to fight them. Okay, I thought I could hit the body and now I've just suicided basically. Okay, well, we tried We tried to hit the body in the background. Okay, very quick, before I edit the video, because I'm failing so much here, what are you doing for Halloween? Um, do you guys like when the trick-or-treaters come? You know, what was your favorite costume? There's so much to talk about with Halloween. We'll have to revisit some of these issues. Um, <laughs> once I make it through this horrible part. I'm doing pretty good, actually. 
I mean, this is how you do it. You just stand in the middle of the room. If you guys get hit, I'm just gonna kick here like this, and it's your own fault. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you jerk. Oh, there was one last surprise one to get you. Thank god I had the health for that. Yes, look at him all excited with his machete. He's like, I don't have to kill any teenagers at camp this week. Bust through this door and find more gore. Okay. I made it to level two. So much for editing the videos. I don't need to edit, guys. In case you haven't noticed, I am like rad at these games. Jesus. I am the best. Okay, what is that? Can I kill these things? Can. I like how just everything explodes in gore. Oh god. You know, I don't think I ever, as a kid, ever went for like really, really scary Halloween costumes. I was like a vampire once, that's about as scary as I got. I always liked being someone cool for Halloween. It's sort of like, you know how... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sound bad, but you know how, like, a lot of girls go with, like, Halloween is an excuse to dress, like, extra sexy? You know, like, sexy cat, sexy frog, sexy nurse, you know, all these, like, sexy girl costumes? I was... <laughs> oh, man, sounds bad. I'm, like, the male equivalent, where I just wanted to dress like, uh... oh, these guys are literally made of water. That's not so scary, they just turn into puffs of water when I hit them. Um, I always kind of dressed cool, so, like... Um, well, like one year as a clown, that's not cool. But like, I like to be a superhero. You know, in, in undergrad, I think I like I dressed as the guy from Fight Club once, and you know, I dressed as uh, um, I guess superheroes. You know, like oh, I think <laughs> one year I went as Dick in a Box guy. We were going to a club. I thought that'd be funny. If you don't know what Dick in a Box is, look it up. It's a classic. Uh, SNL skit by the Lonely Island fellas, which is Andy Samberg and his crew. That was a surprisingly easy level. Um, oh, I remember this. You have... Oh, man, did I play? You have to, like, fight everything in the room. Everything comes alive. Oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, I can't jump. I'm beating up a chair. I lost, guys, a chair. <laughs> I'm like, you know, killing monsters and like water demons. A freaking chair gets me. That was like a joke that one of my friends had once. He told me that one time when he was really, really uh, drunk at a party, he got in a fight with a chair and he lost. That just happened to this guy. He fought a chair and lost. And he didn't even get the high score for that. I think you should automatically get a high score, like number one, if a chair beats you up. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Maybe you should automatically not even be on the board. Because, like, that, that is not a manly way to go. Okay, these demons, I know that they're, like, trying to hurt me and stuff. But they honestly look like they're in more pain than pleasure right now. It's like, I know you guys are supposed to be helping this, like, evil doctor or whatever. But why? I mean, like, it looks like he's torturing you as much as anyone. Just come on my side, dude. Trust me, you'll get to kill all sorts of stuff. It'll be awesome. You, join me. Nope. Okay, you join me. Nope. Oh, God. Ugh. I wish there was a way to get health. I don't mind that I can't just credit feed in this game, but a bit of health would go a long way, fellas. So what did you guys like dressing up as for Halloween? Do you like scary costumes, funny costumes, cool or sexy costumes? Like, uh, like me. Um, what's your favorite costume? Ooh. I don't think these guys are really aggressive. I think they're, like, coming to help me. They're like, Rick, let me give you some. Oh, God, why did you hit me into the wall? Because they don't sound very mean. They're just sort of, like, old. It's like you wouldn't show up in a nursing home just start beating on old people because they're old. You're like, oh, God, they're moaning. It must be evil. What are these things? Suckers. Tell them Rick sent you when you get to whatever god you believe in. Because <laughs> they really, they're like, oh god. They kind of have a long groan when they get hurt. Okay, so is this, you know what, is this an Evil Dead reference? 
Uh, one thing that's kind of cool about this, uh, oh shoot, I gotta watch for these falling things. This time a bottle of booze fell on me and killed me. Like, it's the most embarrassing way to go. Anyway, is this, this room coming alive? Is this an Evil Dead reference? Because I did read that, oh, look at this, I'm peeing. <laughs> it's taking a leak. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, house. Um, I know this game has a lot of Evil Dead references, and I know that in Evil Dead, um, a room, does a room come alive at one point? I forget, I know his hand turns against him. Get out of here, knife. I'm so bad that I just punched a knife. Now I kicked a knife. That's a tough guy. Let me tell you, when he's literally punching a knife with his fist, you don't want to be messing with that guy. Oh, but when a, a knife slices his foot, that is not a good sign either. Okay. Um, this is an interesting game. I, 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 It's honestly way harder than I thought. I don't know how far I'm going to get here. Oh, God. It does not help that these things keep hitting me, though. And a chair got me again. Okay, chair, knives. Then I think I have to fight, like, the painting. And then probably one other thing. This is, this is tough, guys. Um, yeah, so do you... You know what? You know what? So, okay, so the, this uh, has Evil Dead references. If you don't know what Evil Dead is, you got to go check that also out right now. Because Evil Dead, I mean, you know, it's totally suitable to watch on Halloween here. You should totally be checking this stuff out. But, yeah, Halloween is like a classic slasher movie. This game's like forcing me to like really try because it won't let me credit feed damn it I just want to pay to win just trying to show these people a game I'm not trying to be the best ever at Splatterhouse give me a break well that was lucky Blech. imagine just you you're tied to uh, a rope and you're told all right if a guy in like a hockey mask comes through here just kind of like spit on him it will hurt him trust me it'll be awesome and you are you literally have no arms or legs. You can't even disobey. And then the guy shows up and just totally kills you. Like, that sucks. That's not an existence that you want to wish on even your worst enemy. And, like... Ugh. I just wanted to see if I could hit those things. Shouldn't have bothered. What about these water guys? It's like, hang out down here in this stanky wet dungeon. And when a guy comes, try and walk at him really as fast as you can. You know, if you were like the first water demon to try it, maybe you'd be like, okay, maybe shot here. But by the time you've seen like eight or ten of your buddies just go splattered against the wall. I don't know if you want to be next in line. Alright. We can get here with no problem. No, I took two hits, whatever. I'm probably gonna die. That always seems to happen here. Let's just pee for a bit, get out of our systems. Ah. Alright. Okay, so the cups can fall on it. So the glass is. If they fall on us, that's trouble. So that, that was hurting us for a bit, and we didn't know that. I gotta, like, use all my gaming skills here. Come on. Ah. Okay. Oh, you can hit them when they're in the air while they're recharging. This is good info to have. Good info to have. Okay. Let's let's do it. We got this. We got this. Ah, oh, damn it. I just want to get through that section without taking a single hit. Ugh, that chair. Okay, we're back to having only two hits left. Oh, no. Ah, oh, we're screwed. Let's face it, guys. Oh, we cornered you in a corner, knife. Let's do one knife at a time here. I don't want to get into a whole thing of beating up two knives at once. Okay, now we're fighting a, a painting. We've, we've graduated from chairs to knives to paintings. How does a painting kill you? If anything, it would give you a bad headache if it really hit you right in the head. 
And I like how my guy just wakes up in this room. He's like, oh man, am I still here? Okay. Getting good at this. And now the chair's gonna come to life. Oh yeah, I didn't take a single hit that time. Okay, we got this. But we're getting better. We're, we're learning. Crap! Don't you knife me, knives. Oh no! Painting! Painting! Oh, I bet one more hit would have done it! Did you see I got like four or five hits in there all at once? I just cornered that painting against the wall. Jam my fist into it. I mean, what other game can you like talk about beating up a painting with like such vigor? <coughs> okay, I'm just gonna cut right back to that. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Enough messing around. Time to kill a chair. Beat up a few knives. And watch a painting take the long sleep goodbye. Come here, chair. You ain't gonna hurt nobody no more, chair. You're going down. Going down, chair. Your turn, knife. You ain't going anywhere. Sticking in this corner, and I'm gonna kill you. Like you killed that family. Oh, your both knives are there. Oh, I got too greedy. If I can get both knives like that, oh man, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay. <laughs> Damn this game for forcing me to get actually good at it to like know kind of what I'm doing. Just gonna do this. Yep. Okay. Time to beat up a chair. You know, it's funny, like, this game gets quite dark. We're beating up furniture right now, but this game gets pretty dark. So apparently the, like, girl Jennifer, you know, not, okay, spoiler alert if you actually kind of care about the plot of this game, which, you know, I don't know who does. But when we do find Jennifer, she gets turned into like this monster oh god that that portrait's gonna be trouble i got one more shot at this so we do find jennifer she's turned into like some monster and we have to fight her and the whole time we're fighting her she's also begging us to kill her and when we finally do beat her she doesn't turn back human or anything anymore she dies and she like thanks us for it um that's how dark this game is there is no happy ending and you know what it's it's kind of a common horror cliche to like kill all the characters off so i don't mind that but it's pretty dark which is kind of interesting for a game um okay, here we go oh yeah this is where you want to be okay oh, damn new portrait will this save me nope okay, i actually gotta fight no Get out of here! Holy crap, what are you supposed to do? Son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, we got this. We got to got this. There's no way we can't got this. If we don't got this... I don't know if we got this, if you know what I mean. Basically, if we can't beat this level, I don't know if we're even getting any farther in this game. I mean, I guess technically we aren't. Because we can't beat this level. But I don't know if I could even, like, play this off camera and do it. Oh, freaking hell. <sighs> I mean, I'm, I'm, like, in so much trouble here. You don't want to take two hits at this point. Oh, yeah, and I'm just dead. Because that stinking painting. Like... It just sweeps the whole screen. Honestly, what the hell are you supposed to do? Um, damn it. You know, I always thought that this game was... Uh, there's a book called Slaughterhouse-Five. Um, and I always thought that this was like the video game adaptation of that book as a kid. I never noticed like Splatterhouse, Slaughterhouse. Didn't think it was the, the same, uh, different thing. And so I thought that, like, literally, if you read Slaughterhouse Five, it would be about this. Apparently, it's not. It's a little more, you know, 
about deeper themes than a guy in a in a hockey mask beating stuff up. Okay. Oh god. We got this. We got this. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. I'm not cocky. Oh, but I beat a painting. I beat the crap out of that painting. Oh. Wait. 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 What? No! Oh god. Why would why would they do that? That's the meanest thing I've ever seen. You beat the boss. I didn't know that thing could fall on me. I didn't know that would kill me. This, this, the, this is the meanest thing that's ever happened to me in a game. I'm so sad. I literally feel a little sad on the inside. I I don't know what to say. I, I guess I can do it. I guess I can beat the boss, so I might as well keep going, but... I feel like... The game owes me an apology, you know? Just like a little one. No, that see that's the opposite of an apology. Having that guy hit me in the gut even when I was swinging to stop him. I I can't believe that. I honestly am still in shock that that happened. Okay, um, we're gonna keep on going. So I'll just cut us right back to where we need to be, I guess. I died in the water levels. My heart wasn't in it. I died in the water. I've literally never even taken a hit in the water levels. Oh, I, I wake up out of the water. Oh, God. Such a humiliating defeat by a freaking... I don't even, what, what would you call that? A chandelier fell on me. Taking out on these guys, you son of a... Just smacking them into the wall with full force. How does a wood plank hit a creature made out of water with any force? Wouldn't it just go right through them? Does not make a lot of sense. Because I know these guys are made out of water. When they hit the wall, they explode into a, a bomb of water. It's like popping a big water balloon. Boom, boom. So, yeah. The internal logic of this game escapes me. Well, I mean, I guess you could also ask, why would a room attack a guy... Why would he have to beat it up? I do not know. Okay, we got two chances at this. Come on. We gotta do this. Okay, these knives are nothing. These knives are nothing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I think I, I think I have this. I, I think I figured out the trick. Okay, that was easy. Stay away from the chandelier. I'm just going to pee in the corner here. Yeah, there we go. God, why? Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Who knew Splatterhouse was going to be this difficult? Now we busted through a wall. We're out in the gardens. Oh, I don't know. Um. Oh, I see a shotgun, though. That pleases me. Boom! 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 Oh, you jerk. Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> one of the wolves was eating one of the dead guys I shot. Interesting. Um, well, I have a feeling that this may be the farthest I get. I'm gonna keep going for a bit and we'll see. But, you know, just to warn you guys, this easily could be the extent of it. But you know what? I, I don't know. I've surprised myself. I, I'm not bad at this. Oh, eat that dog. What is this thing? It's like a disgusting baby. Ew. What? Oh, no. Oh. Ew. What is that? What are those? I don't even want to find out. Oh, my God. Am I dead? Is that a one-hit kill? Oh, no. It just it pulls you down to another level. Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, man. The difficulty really ramps up on this. Oh. It's a lot harder to kill those guys with the, when you don't have a 2 by 4 um, I guess that's true of most guys, most bad guys. It's harder to kill them without a 2 by 2 by 4 
We'll give this a few more goes. See what other disgusting monsters we can see. Um, it's funny how there's like some horror movies are like just gross out things like these gross monsters. Other horror movies are like somebody's invaded your house and is going to murder you. Um, it's it's interesting how like there's these different genres of, of fear. You go away, you weird dead baby. Okay. Don't want these things to get us. Oh, look at that. Ah. I have a rock. <laughs> oh, threw that rock right into that guy's gut, which exploded his gut and killed him. That is not a way you want to go. I'll do you solid, and I'll kick you in the face this time. Hey, you hurt me. I was trying to help you, buddy. Last time I do a, a favor for, like, a dead ghoul. Oh, God. You jerk. I'm remembering that. Just taking a nap in a haunted uh, garden, no big thing. Hey, take that, buddy. Bats. Those bats are probably just gonna fly past me, like, all peacefully, but, like, not on my watch. Like, I wonder if those guys, if I didn't punch them, if they would just walk past me and not cause trouble. Boom. Shotgun to the gut. Oh, that guy just exploded behind the tree. Whoa, what the hell is this thing? Oh my god. Whoa. Uh-oh. How? You have two chainsaws for hands? How's that fair? Oh, man. Okay, I I'm totally dead here. Yep. Totally dead. I have an idea for that guy. I think my idea is... I'm going to try to hold on to that shotgun for as long as I can and use as few bullets as I can. And if you're following my logic here, then I should be able to kill that guy. You, Nobody spits on me but me. And possibly my wife. Wait, that sounds very weird. I don't know. That Literally, that came out. It, it has no bearing in anything. Okay, kill this guy. Punch this guy. Saving my bullets. I'm only gonna... Okay, let's just do this. Let's get him in the corner and hit him as much as we can. Oh, yeah! The strategy worked! Yes! Shotgun for the win! <laughs> blew through that stage. That was nothing. Oh, look, they even gave me one extra freaking heart. Oh, thanks. So generous. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, there's a guy hiding behind a door there. Hey, buddy, you go away. Uh-oh. I do like, though, how if you fall into, like, a pit, you're not totally dead. Although, oh my god, we might as well be with these things. Didn't even last us. I couldn't even throw a punch. Didn't even have time to throw a punch with whatever the hell those things were. Um, they look like those things from Dreamcatcher. The, like, worms that crawl up your butt and, like, take control of your mind that are aliens. Which is, like, a horrifying thought. The guy, like, pooped one out in the movie. Oh, man, horror movies are disgusting. Honestly. They're just grossing me out. I'm supposed to eat dinner after playing this game. Honestly, my appetite's kind of fading. Like, I'm watching, like, monsters explode and, like, I don't know. It, it, I'm kind of, I feel pretty grossed out right now, actually, as I think about this. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to play this game before I ate. Oh, my God. Ow. Why do you have your spinning sword mechanic thing just... Lying out where everyone could trip over it, Dr. Whatever West. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Ah, crap. I'm like, ow, my foot got sliced by a sword. Ooh, interesting. Hey, look, it's me. I wish I could wave. Hey, buddy. You know what's also cool? The It's an auto-scrolling level, but it stops 
when I stop. It kind of respects the player. I dig that. Whoa. Crap. Um, well, he was better at punching than me. Which is too bad, because I thought I was pretty good at punching. And then I wake up from a nap on the floor, and I'm like, oh, I'm still here? Well, that's weird. Dude, I just dreamed I was here. Oh, God. Ah, I didn't even know you could slide. How do you do that? How do you do that? I can't do that. I'm going to have to fight like three or four of these guys. One guy took half my health off. Oh, God. Okay. If I jump and drop kick like this, I think I can beat him. It's like a third button. I don't know what it does. Yeah, that guy only took one heart off. I mean, this guy's going to explode out of a mirror, and the first punch he's going to throw is going to kill me. Watch. I fought, I fought in a mirror doppelganger too my time. Yeah, that's... Okay, you know what? If I only have to beat three, I can do this. I can do this, guys. I got it. I got it. Oh, man. What a headache. Where am I? Whoa. Who's this guy? Huh. Let's find Jennifer. Oh, God. What's happening? Whoa. That was kind of weird. Oh, whoa. It's like a guy came out of the mirror, but it was me. But, like, it wasn't me. So, like... Whoa. Where am I? Okay. Hold on a second. If you're me, and wait, I did like a slide there. I didn't even know you could do that. But dude, if you're me, then who am I? What does any of it mean, really? If we are just not unique individuals. Oh god, there's another one. Sir, seriously, where did you come from? Whoa. What a weird hallway. Oh, I thought that was the boss. Well, those guys weren't too bad. Once I got the hang of it. Oh, what the hell is this? So this is called the part where I die. Oh, and the screen is chasing me. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. Because I'm never going to make it past this part here. I'll tell you that much. Um, can you stop moving thing? Oh. oh, I think the problem is that like these things come at like they can come above your punches, below your punches and right at your punches. So you kind of have to like duck, punch normally and then um, I don't know, jump. So these things come at like two, three different elevations and it's too hard to like here, take a couple of these buddies. It's too hard to, you know, anticipate that. So yeah, oh, damn it. Yeah, so um, it's kind of hard to, to stop from losing life in this game. And honestly, like, you know, some games have like a one hit kill that's really unfair. This gives you four. That's fine. It would be really nice if you could regenerate health somehow. Like, like I'm literally just dead here. Um, there's no way to regenerate health. There's no way to get more lives. And if you're lucky enough to make it to a boss, I don't know, man. Like, usually you can't beat it. And he's got a certain more quarters, so... I guess I'm kind of giving my thoughts on the game. I, you know what? I guess I just started wrapping up and I didn't even intend to. But, okay, here's here's the deal with this game. It's it's a cool, interesting game. The gameplay, though, is pretty simple. And, you know, it's got these, like, annoying limits. You know, like, okay, I don't know if it, you consider it cheap to want a credit feed. But, honestly, when you only have two lives, there's no way to recover health. And it's really easy for bad guys to hit you. I don't think it's fair that if I die, I have to go all the way back. Because look, I'm, I'm like I'm, I might as well just let myself die and have one more shot where I'm above ground. I can go through that stupid hallway. But the boss, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to beat that stupid thing. It's going to take too much practice. And I think we've kind of reached our limit with this game. So yeah, I don't know. So those are kind of the pros and cons all summed up together. Um, I think what we've learned here today is that if you look like Jason Voorhees, you might as well just start killing everything you see. Because, um, hey, why not? Um, I think we've also learned that just because you're Jason Voorhees doesn't mean you're going to have an easy time killing everything you see. You know. Um, kill you. Oh, you jerk. Like, taking one hit is such a big deal. Now I have these things. 
So yeah, we've kind of learned. Oh, and we also learned that this is not the novel adaptation. Son of a. This is not the novel adaptation of Slaughterhouse Five, which is about something totally different. So um, yeah, it's not about a Jason Voorhees character going through a mansion trying to save his girlfriend. Um, I think we've also learned that Namco could get away with a lot back in the day. Um, by that, I mean, could they even make this game today? I feel like if they made this game, they would be sued by whoever owns the rights to Friday the 13th. Because this is totally ripoff, right? Am I crazy? Oh, man. I mean, yeah, like, I might as well just let the next guy kill me, or I'm going to have to get really lucky, so... We'll see, guys. We'll see. Do I have the skills to beat up myself twice without getting hurt? I don't know if I do. The only one who might is myself. But unfortunately, myself is the person who wants to hurt me. And I don't know how to do that stinking slide. I feel like it's an, an unfair advantage. Okay, here we go. Wakes up with a killer headache. No idea how he got here. He's going to have to fight himself. A weapon would go a long way in this part. Okay, didn't even take a hit. Sucker. It's doing this. I'm just gonna do this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. It's like my strategy. This is this reminds me now I'm like having flashbacks of like virtual fighter. My strategy was to like sit in a corner and just punch and let them walk into it. It's kind of a similar idea. It's like just spam the attack and hope you don't die. I mean, again, you can see where I get my button mashing tendencies in Fighters, because like every other game I play encourages button mashing. Oh no. Okay, well we got ya. Got a hit on me. Jerk. Should you, should you play this game before you die? You know what? I'm gonna say, today's Halloween. I highly encourage you to play this game before you die. Load it up right now. Give it a whirl. In fact, I encourage you to load up a handful of fun uh, arcadey Halloween style games. Why not? Tonight's the night. If you're never going to play these games, play them tonight, man. And in fact, that brings up one last important question. What is your guys' favorite like monster Halloween game? Um, I really like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, I already played that one, so you guys got a sense of what it was like. <laughs> See, I was swinging and that guy still got through my attack and hit me in the head, so I don't think that's fair. Got one shot at this. Um, Zombies Ain't My Neighbor is definitely one of my fun ones. I mean, Doom is another great one, and I've already played that. If you guys haven't watched the Doom video, you should go check it out. I have a lot of fun in that game. Uh, especially if you just want the highlights, check out the fast forward. But, uh, you know what? This game, like, it, it, I mean, it just looks cool. And it's kind of a fun idea, but I guess it's just hard, much harder than I thought it would be. And much harder than I wish it was. I wish it was a little easier. But, you know, we don't always get what we want. I wish this game was easier. I also wish I was a millionaire. Had uh, as many followers as PewDiePie. But hey, you know, only one person can have as many followers as, as PewDiePie, and that's, uh, that's PewDiePie. Oh no, come on. Oh man, I had it down to like one head. And now what is this crap that's happening now? Like, I'm dead. I'm just dead. I, th I thought maybe I could do it, but... Uh... Splatterhouse got the best of me. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Man, I couldn't even, like, break number one. Normally on these ar old arcade games where, like, nobody has placed, I can break number one. I couldn't even beat the default high score. That's telling. Let's, let's enter our name as I sign off here. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. I hope whatever you're doing, if you're staying in, just having the trick-or-treaters, ja I couldn't get the Y in there. If you're staying in, the trick-or-treaters are coming by. Even if you're not, I hope you're watching some scary movies. I hope this is the first YouTube video of many spooky ones you check out tonight. Hope you play some scary games. And, yeah, hope you enjoy yourself. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, what would, what would be a huge favor for me is if you could click either the like or subscribe or both. And uh, I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. So until then, guys, peace.